Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be helping you understand why you aren't improving in Siege and how you can finally fix that. So if you find this video helpful, go ahead and return the favor. Give me a like and a comment under this video. It helps out the YouTube algorithm, gives me some more views. I would appreciate it. And if you really enjoyed, maybe even consider subscribing, turning on those notifications. I post videos like this as well as high level champion gameplay videos every single week. Anyways, though, with all that out of the way, let's jump straight into the video. All right. So for this video, I'm not going to sit here and spend five minutes talking about how you need a good sensitivity and this and that instead i want to come at this from a different perspective i want to show you guys things that you maybe haven't thought of or heard about before this video the first of those things is that your aim really isn't as important as you think it is now before you completely freak out on me in the comments and bring up how good spoy and shaiko are just give me a second to explain yes having an incredible aim is super nice and can 100 percent win you games but that isn't always the case as we saw with shaiko taking the world record for most kills on land at the time but still losing the game what's more important is game sense and the ability to outplay and outthink your opponent so many people are focused on their aim and while it isn't a bad idea to focus on that you still need to be trying to improve your game sense siege is a thinking game and at the end of the day the team who wins is the team who has the best strats and setups go into a t-hunt and tear apart the entire map if you have to see new angles you didn't know existed before and take advantage of those in game siege is all about game sense map knowledge and your thinking skills so do whatever you can to improve those moving on though this is by far my biggest pet peeve and that's when people are so focused on stats i've been the absolute highest rank in the game for almost every single season the game has been out and i'm telling you right now that it means absolutely nothing this rank does not mean i am good it does not mean i'm bad it's just a logo that's in front of my name it proves absolutely nothing and i'll explain to you why right now think about what type of game siege is siege is a 5v5 team-based tactical shooter right i mean it even says so in the description of the game so then why would your rank determine what your skill is you have four other people on your team which have an absolute giant part in whether or not you rank up so if you think about it you are only 20 percent in control of what your rank is your teammates hold the other 80% of that control for whether or not you rank up. So for this reason, it's not a great indicator of how well you are as a player. It does not show how good you are as an individual. Now, you could say, well, if you're gold and below, maybe silver, sure. You're probably not that good at the game. And if you've got like a horrible KD, like a 0.4, sure. You're probably not that good. But when we're talking, you know, platinum up, you are only 20% in control of what your rank is. So it's really, really bad to just focus on improving your rank and that's it because you're not actually improving anything with that. You could have got really good teammates and that helped you get boosted up in the ranks. Maybe you had really bad teammates and it pushed you down in the ranks. It's really not up to you. And there's so many factors that goes into Siege that are out of your control completely, such as cheaters, you know, for me, stream snipers, getting bad teammates, you know, whatever it may be that just holds your rank back. So for this reason, rank is an absolutely horrible way of indicating what your actual skill is as an individual. So just keep that in mind, please. I, I get comments like this constantly. People are so focused. They, they just want to improve their rank. That's all they think about. I promise you guys, if you just focus on improving your aim, your game sense, your map knowledge, your communication skills, and things such as this, you're going to grow as a player and you're just going to become way better at the game than if you just focus on trying to improve your rank. I promise trying to improve your rank or your KD is just going to end in disaster. You are never, ever, ever going to totally revamp yourself as a player if you just focus on your rank. There's so much more to Siege than just your rank and KD. So anyways, just to end my rant, just keep in mind your rank doesn't really mean everything. Game sense, aim, map knowledge, communication skills, things such as this is far more important. So please just focus on improving those things. And I promise that your rank is going to come with it. Your KD is going to come with it. If you improve yourself as an individual and as a player, all of those things will come with it. All right. So just to end my rant here, let's move on to the next tip. So this next one is something that I see a lot of people saying, and that's defining themselves by their role or the operator that they main. Now, this isn't the worst thing ever, but keep in mind that if you want to become a great Siege player, you need to be able to play any operator or any role at any time. Now, this is what separates the good players from the great players in Siege. Try to play different operators and different roles enough to where you are at least decent with all of them. Now, you don't have to be the best at any of them, but if you can at least give yourself some familiarity with them, it'll go a long way. Just trust me. 
this is especially important if you're trying to go for a pro or comp play being able to play a lot of different operators and roles is super valuable to a team rather than if you're just good at a couple all right so just to summarize guys don't focus too much on what your kd and rank is and instead work on yourself as an individual and as a player everything else will come with it try to branch out and learn different operators and roles especially if you're trying to go for comp or pro play that way you have much more value as a player and finally just make sure to have some fun at the end of the day it's a game and it's meant to be for fun don't burn yourself out or get too worked up over a video game if you guys would like more in-depth tips on things such as improving your aim game sense movement or literally anything else inside of siege then be sure to check out my tips playlist which i've linked down below in the description you could also check out my coaching service where i go one-on-one -on -one with you and help you improve at siege as fast as possible i also have a service there where i grow your brand as a content creator so if you'd like more followers on tiktok instagram twitter more subs on twitch youtube things such as that then be sure to check that out links down below in the description also a lot of these videos such as these tip videos in the future are going to be posted on my second channel so be sure to check that out as well and if you missed my announcement the other day i actually just released merge so if you guys are interested in that again the links to everything i just mentioned are down below in the description anyways though guys i hope you all have a great day and thank you so much for watching i'm leaving the bomb out there okay i dropped it Wow, there, there's two people. Oh, there's one on printer stairs, one's like radio off. Just, just help your team, man. Like, like you have no C4 and you're across the map. What the? Because like, this weirdo doing? Help he's, team, he's inside bro. maps. Please just help the team, GG Kane. I have shock on my team. I know he's killing that guy. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, okay. Good okay. Devil, watch that one back on the stream. You should see that one. <laughs> I'm in the site. I am in the objective. Let me grab the ball. This is in sight. It's downstairs. They bamboozled us. Uh oh, they, they bamboozled they us. They bamboozled okay. us? There's no chance. Okay. We just got sight faked against. I'm just here to shoot, bro. I don't even know the sights. We, dude, we got hit with our Vigil's reception. I had to swing left side. Just watch right. They're both oh, there. Shit. They're both there. No one's on. Oh, no. Dude, no one is on sight shock. I got him. I one tapped him. Oh my god. I one tapped him. I don't know. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Still close left. Close waiting. Nice, the right swinging, flashing breach, going in, baby. One's behind me. Truck and come, boys. On control. Last on control. Last on control. Oh, you didn't kill him? Last on control. Such a Calls yeah, outside of the door. I'm running away, run away, I'm running away, I'm running away. Give me a side. Shock has him. Let's go. I